Hello, this video is an overview of the Stealthwatch Response Manager update with Stealthwatch 7.3. My name is Hannah Jabour, I'm a TME for Stealthwatch. The Stealthwatch Response Manager is a way to actually trigger different responses when certain alarms are actually triggered. So the Response Manager allows to share information with other solutions based on Stealthwatch alarms with capabilities such as sending this info through email, syslog, integrating with Cisco ICE, ability to change policies and access for endpoints, or integrating with uh, other solutions using webhooks or using SNMP traps. The logic with Response Manager applies of if you have certain conditions, which are called rules inside the Response Manager, then if these conditions are met, we trigger responses. The responses are actions, inside the response manager. So if rules are met, actions are actually triggered. This is the way the response manager works and help to automate responses by creating these, uh, this logic. To access the response manager, from the Stealthwatch main dashboard, you go under configure response management. The first page of the response manager will show the rules where you can actually create the conditions that needs to be met to, to launch certain responses. By default, there is a list of default created rules. You can add your own rules by clicking on Add New Rules. These rules could be rules for specific type of alarms. You can choose and then you can create your conditions. And the action sections, you can see the different actions that are there and you can create and add new actions depending on the type of action you want to trigger. And finally, on the third tab, there is syslog format if you want to customize the syslog messages you are sending to other solutions. This was a short overview of the Stealthwatch Response Manager. Listen in for other detailed videos. Hope this video has been informative for you guys and you have enjoyed it.